Yeah, well, the minute you found out you're a little bit Nigerian, you rocked up, called it your country, paraded around in a flimsy nightgown, spoke in a pandering manner when you weren't talking about yourself, and then acted like you were finally putting Nigeria on the map. I kind of thought I was, right? You know, It would appear that you have aroused the righteous indignation of the First Lady of Nigeria, Megan, delivering as she has a withering attack, an indictment on Western women's low-class nakedness, which is embodied by their celebrity-adoring culture. No, but this has already been independently fact-checked, Cobalt, okay? She wasn't referring to Megan, my Megan, but to all garmentless floozies in general. It was general, not specific. Yeah, so it includes you. I, I chose to wear, like, glamorous attire as a sign of respect to my country, right? I don't think anyone was offended by it. Like, you know, yeah. A lot of people were staring with wide eyes and open mouths, but you know, I've kind of got used to that. Yes, but you did walk around the whole time with a protruding collarbone and a back more exposed than David Hasselhoff after a waxing. I've actually met David Hasselhoff after a waxing. Really? Where? We were being waxed for charity. So what did you do? Have your freckles waxed off? He waxed his head and it's never forgiven him. <laughs> Laugh it up. At least the First Lady of Nigeria didn't publicly shame me. But as you've just said, Harry, she wasn't aiming it directly at me. However, it was coincidentally just after your highly publicised trip to Nigeria that she delivers this diatribe. And uh, oh, the most delicious part was that she referred to it as being a staple of the low morality of the Hollywood actress. Yeah, which proves it can't be about Megan, because she's never been a Hollywood actress, you know? All she ever starred in were those budget B-movies and those hammy Christmas films that they normally start showing it around August. Oh, and Suits, of course. Yeah, but I could have been a Hollywood actress if I want to be, if I wanted to be, you know, even now. But, you know, I wasn't inclined. I, I chose the more noble lifestyle of philanthropy instead. Well, I actually read that as a dig against you, Megan, that, you know, that you were just an actress, that you weren't a duchess or royal or anything significant, just a typical actress. What Megan might have misjudged is that Nigeria is a proud nation and not just a handy pawn in the inflation of Megan's stock price. How did I misjudge that? Yeah, well, the minute you found out you're a little bit Nigerian, you rocked up, called it your country, paraded around in a flimsy nightgown, spoke in a pandering manner when you weren't talking about yourself, and then acted like you were finally putting Nigeria on the map. I kind of thought I was, right? You know, It's got 229 million people, Megan. I, I didn't even know it was in Africa. And that's because you're stupid. No, 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 wait, 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 hold on. Nigeria is in Africa. Hello friends, for those of you who enjoy our content and would like to see more videos released more regularly and with greater variety, we'd very much appreciate you considering supporting the channel. I've left two links in the description box below, one to Patreon, where you can sign up for monthly support, and one for PayPal, where you can make a singular donation if that would be your inclination. Thank you very much.